Our AT&T U-verse Rewind. There's Big John Mayberry, the first true power hitter in Royals history. Going deep at Yankee Stadium. Look at that trot. And I think he's in better shape now than he was then. There we go. Big John, break it down for us right there. Well, you know, I had a fast bat and uh, had kind of a long swing. And to be honest with you, I try to hit home runs. You that's know, that's beautiful. Say. That was what they paid you for, right? That's, that's right. I found that you can make some money if you just run into about 25 or 30 of them, and that's what I tried to do. <laughs> I tried to hit it out. That was my job. That's beautiful. Good yeah. to see you. Always How you a been? pleasure. I've been doing great. Yeah? Just, uh, just hanging out, you know, living one day at a time. That's all. Nothing spectacular. Just uh, keeping it simple. Imagine you watch a lot of baseball during this time of year. It seems like every time I run into you, you're repeating something that I said on the air, Rex said on the air, and watching the Phillies as well. That's right. John you know, Jr. I'm a, I'm a baseball fan. That's all I know. I'm not a businessman or a politician or anything like that. I'm just uh, a guy who loves baseball. John, you mentioned something in your first comment about just keeping it simple. Talking about your life. Yeah. Taking it one day at a time. Isn't that so much like the game of baseball in life? They, they run hand in hand. That's right. You know, player got to keep it simple. He got to come out here and forget about yesterday and try to perform today, don't he? That's right. That's what you have to do is just try to get some kind of consistency, keep a peace of mind, and uh, and do what you do best. You're going to have your good days and have your bad days and just go out there and hit and add them up at the end of the year. How did you deal with failure? Just worked a little bit harder. Sometimes you have to back off, and uh, sometimes you've got to know yourself and make some adjustments yourself. Smaller bat, maybe uh, less batting practice, a uh, few more ground balls, or any area that you might need a little little work in. You just kind of assess it and go from there. Because a young young player sometimes have a hard time dealing with that issue, that that, that particular part of the game. Well, you got to remember now these pitchers are good, you know, and uh, there's no dead to beat here in the big leagues. You know, you don't play no higher in this league right here, and uh, sometimes get a little tough. But that's when the will of baseball you got to overcome it. You said something that I haven't heard in a long time and that is when a guy's struggling maybe take a little less batting practice. That's not how the guys go about it today. I mean they do nothing but hit. That's right. Sometimes I think they hit too much. You know I kind of share my experience in minor league because I say you know, the longest hitting streak I ever had was 17 games up in Toronto and I stopped taking batting practice after the second game and it seemed like my last two at bats were always my best two at bats. Huh. One and one on Jan Gomes after the walk to Carlos Santana. Every day is always a good day to talk to Big John Mayberry. And one of the great thrills for me since coming to Kansas City is spending time on the caravan with you. The stops are fun going to the cities, and I think equally as fun as the time that we have on the bus listening to your stories. And as a result, you are a fan favorite at Fantasy Camp. And that's the that's the main reason why you're up here in the booth today to that, talk about fantasy. Camp. That's, that's right. And you know if your guy wants to go down and uh, have just a ton of fun and get the feel of a major league baseball player the fantasy camp is for him. If you played little league baseball if you played in the Legion ball if you haven't played in a while you play softball then this is where you need to be It's something you remember the rest of your life and this year we're going to be uh, featuring the uh, 1985 World Series championship team. Got uh, just found out recently that Brett Saberhagen and Mark Gubiza are confirmed that they will both be there for fantasy camp this year. Well there's no doubt and I think that old Hal McRae you know if he's feeling well he'll come and you've got uh, of course Willie Wilson to be there and, and old Pryor you know he's one of the managers of fantasy camp <laughs> guy you got to keep an eye on and uh, the, the rest of those guys and they have some fantastic stories about how they did it and what kind of run that they have to make to uh, to get our way and win the whole thing. George ought to be there. Oh think? no question George will be there with his classic swing and he's got some stories to tell and uh, he's a prankster and you'll you'll have a lot of time hanging around with George as uh, has Todd Worrell been invited to uh, the 85 reunion at fantasy camp. I don't know Todd Worrell might get beat up down there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's the way we used to do it back in our days. You know. Uh, got so keep an eye on him. Well I always love listening to a player who's had a long career and when he retires and what they talk about at the retirement press conference and sure they'll talk about the big games and the individual performances but at some point the conversation always seems to get to how much they're going to miss the camaraderie in the clubhouse the day to day with 
with guys that at one point in their lives were strangers and become like family and I, th I think that's one of the draws of fantasy camp is that fans get a chance to be in the clubhouse with you guys. I mean the games are fun right but I'd imagine that the campers when they leave don't didn't realize how much fun they'd have just hanging out in the clubhouse. You know there's no question about it. You know it starts out at the airport. We get about 40 or 50 of us get on the plane and we fly down to Arizona. We get off the bus. We go to the ballpark. We have lunch and then we start working out. Guys kind of checking each other out get mm -hmm. to know each other and uh, and, and for the coaches as well, you know, we have 18 coaches going down there and we get to reunite and talk about the old days and we pass it on to the campers and uh, it becomes that camaraderie. Guys see their uniform hanging up in the locker and they get all excited. Then you got the good looking guys who uh, who have their hair slicked back and forget to put their hat on when they come out on the field. So we find them a dollar. Of course, Mike Sweeney is the uh, is the judge and he's worse than Judge Judy. <laughs> So so it's, it's, it's just a fun thing all the way around and uh, I'm excited to God willing be a chance to go down there again. Each time I go down there is always better than the one before. They really get treated like the major leaguers don't they? There's no the question. clubhouse uniforms everything. They wait on your hand and foot and we got some of the best trainers down there to keep you on the field with Nick Swartz and Paul McGannon and uh, they've treated million that million dollar ball players and they'll treat them too. Now I alluded to this before uh, we started talking about fantasy camp that your uh, ritual of watching the Royals and the Phillies as Aoki comes up in right field to make the play. So two down as Swisher's out. I saw that uh, Junior went on the disabled list recently John Mayberry Junior. Yeah he went on the disabled list. I think first time he's ever been hurt and uh, well he broke the string because I've never been on the disabled list today in my life. You oh know you it. probably didn't. Yeah. And get uh, on so him about I that think, did you. No I just <laughs> let it slide but he kind of hurt his wrist a little bit. It was funny because he hit a home run that day hmm. and uh, this was last week and uh, the last two at bats he felt some in his wrist whether it was a check swing or something like that but I think he'll recover. You know he's just kind of tough. He's got a little Mayberry in him so he ought to be fine. We had a lot of fun last year. Our second series of the season was in Philadelphia. It's kind of an odd year that first year with 15 teams in each league and right away we're in Philly playing interleague games but had a lot of fun getting to know him and watching him play. Well no question about it. Uh, Greg Holland kind of jacked him around a little bit him and O'Aaron Crow you know <laughs> those veteran guys with good sliders but uh, that's been a couple years ago and uh, Junior is uh, hanging in the big leagues and you can't play no better than that. It's got to be a huge thrill for you. Uh, does he ever call home and ask for advice. Not anymore. You know he's 30 years old now. He's a grown man and uh, I kind of backed off of him a couple of years ago and say hey man it's on you now and you've been around long enough so go out and have your fun and, uh, and your dad's going to just back off and let you do your thing. But you're a proud papa watching. And no question about it. It's one of the greatest thrills in my life to see your to see your own son uh, kind of seeing what it's all about and what he went through and uh, and enjoying himself one day at a time. One and two on Rayburn. And it'll be a long run for Billy and Ioki and it drops still one ball two strikes. I think I know the answer to this question but mm -mm. for the benefit of our audience I'll ask yeah. it anyway more right. nerve wracking game on the line you at the plate or a game on the line and junior at the plate junior at the plate. <laughs> I mean I get nervous every time he's at the plate whether it's the game on the line or not you know <laughs> because it just seemed like I might have been around baseball too much and I know too much and I kind of know what they're going to throw and know what to expect. And they say the longer you don't play the easier it looks you know so I get caught up in that as well. So uh, you know I just watch him and hope he has a good swing and uh, don't embarrass himself like I did many a time swinging over top of curveballs. Two and two on Rayburn with Santana at first base chatting with Royals Hall of Famer John Mayberry with Royals alumni fantasy camp coming up in January. And another chance for Nori. And he makes the play. Mm. So Bruce gets around the leadoff walk. Big John Mayberry. He'll All be right. showing off his sweet swing at oh, yeah. Fantasy Camp in January in surprise. Always great to see you. Thanks for dropping hey, by. Man, thanks. Thank you, guys. Thanks you for got it. Me, man. That's All a right. homer. You know it.